is the Cornerman Radio, live with Barzini and Boxing Eye. Dominique Brazilian versus Deontay Wilders for October 14th. Raging Babe from the Morning Brunch Show announced it on the word of the curb. So, I'm, I know you've been excited for this fight. They got an altercation in the lobby um, a couple months back in February. Dominic Brazilian was planning to sue him. Dominic Brazilian, this is what I can say. He gave us wars. This dude comes to fight. But I'm really not excited to see this fight at all. You know what I mean? It is going to be a fight of the year candidate with Wild and Brazilian, but I just I, I just don't want to see this guy fighting Wilder. I'd rather see Wilder fight the Luis Ortiz, the Joseph Parkers, the Anthony Joshua, the Dylan White. But Dominic Brazilian, I'm not too happy about it. I'm going to tune in. I'm going to watch it. It's going to be a fun fight. But on paper, uh, me getting excited to see, nah. I think Wallace is going to knock him out. You know what I mean? But it's going to be fun at, um, as it as it goes on. But I just, uh, I'm not excited for this fight. <laughs> but shout out to Raging Bay for for letting us know it's over 14. What's your take on it? Shout out to Box and I for telling you that this fight, I finally got one, bro. <laughs> I knew it. I, remember, I said this right after the. <laughs> Yo, you knew this dude was Brazil was suing this. Wasn't he the altercation in the lobby? He got disrespected in front of his family. So he was like going to sue or something like that. Right. Remember? So I was like. Yeah, I remember. We, talk, we talked about it, and I'm like, yo, this dude, that Al Heyman's going to be like, yo, just drop the lawsuit. We're going to give you the fight you want. Because nobody else is getting in the ring with Wilder. And there's a little storyline there. And some more WWE uh, stuff coming our way <laughs> during that press <laughs> conference. So, <Wow>. both these dudes. <laughs> You know, Brazil doesn't have a chance. I mean, the only thing Brazil is, which makes him fun, is, like, you hit this guy with everything in the kitchen sink, and it's like he just, like the undertaker, he gets up somehow. The Amir Mansour fight, Mansour beat, <laughs> was beating the shit out of him. Not, you know, just beating the shit out of him, little Mansour. And Brazil's like Not this fighting bully. The year. Yeah, Brazil's like this bully in the ring where – you know, he's la- you're tagging him up and down, and then he's laughing at you. But, you know, he's not able to bully the Anthony Joshua's, and he won't be able to bully the, uh, the, the Deontay Wilders. It's impossible. Wilders going <laughs> to – Wilders, we're going to find out how Wilders' hand is, though, them soft hands, bro, because that's one thing. That dude is, you know, <laughs> that dude's a tough egg to crack, man. You see him sore – couldn't do it. And then that other guy that he fought in Alabama, you know, on the Wilder um, the Wilder undercard. Hold on one sec. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it is I got to tell you, man, it's going to be funny. It's going to be fun, though. I hope they put it on Showtime. Not no, you know, so these guys can wild out a little bit. But they might want to contain them. And make it an NBC or who knows PBC on Fox or whatever they got left. But um, I don't mind the fight. I'm not surprised. I knew it was going to happen. It, the bottom line is, you know, how long is it going to take Wilder to get rid of this guy? Because he's tough as fucking nails. Brazil is. That is. And Brazil's getting another payday. You know, they're using and abusing him as an opponent. And he's getting through a few, and uh, he always, like you said, he makes entertaining fights. Um, he's just Definitely, too slow. Yeah, man. He's just too slow. He, he's just too slow. The wild is too fast. That's it. Basic math. All right, bro. That's it. That's